Hello and welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see how to do a lookup on a combined set. One of our friends has this script, which is on screen. So what he wants is this is a data set where we have a customer name in a combined cell. You can see four cell has been combined to add the customer name. And in front of that, there are four product delivered and quantity and parts. So this is a main data set where all the client's data is being entered. And our print bond is this to be pulled under the separate sheet as per the name. So you can see whenever we change the name of a customer, all the data gets updated as per this set. Now, what we want that whenever we send a file to any person or a print a copy, it should directly get printed from here. We should not be sending any from here. This is the, uh, actually a very, uh, what I can say, a bad idea to merge the cell. But if someone has done that, then we have this reason for that as well. So you can see as this is not possible from doing a filter. See, from filter, you're not going to get the result. And if we do a lookup, take an example, if we have this, sorry, if we have this value over here, and we want to do a lookup with this range, and we want the result over here, then let's try to do a lookup. So we'll do a VLOOKUP, or lookup value, then the table array, this will be the our table array, then the column index number, so we want detail of second, second, then we want the exact match, so we'll be adding this, and then C. We're gonna get only the first result. Because this cell is under the B7 cell. Uh, this customer name is under the B7 range. So what our formula do, it searches for the B7 and whatever is in front of that, give us the result. So B8, 9 and 10 considered as a blank cell. So we can't get this result from Willock. So, how we can get this? To get this result, we have to do an index and match function. We'll be combining index and match function. So, before moving on to that, let us understand what is index and match function. So, what we'll understand the index function. Index function is Nothing but the a val a return value of a reference to a value from a table of or an arrow. That means it will return the value from the table. Okay, and the value will be the reference which we have requested. Okay, so let uh, let us understand this writing the formula. Index. Okay, we started the formula with equal to index arrow. Now arrow will be our range. Okay, then the row number. So we take an example. We want our second product detail quantity. Okay, so our row number will be one and two, and then. V, our column will be the same from the V1 and 2. And bracket close. Then you can see the result is 18. 
if you put s and n the formula over here, it will give us the result for the s because our ABC is under the first cell. So it will give us the result as 1. So index will do what index will do? Index will search the result here and first position result will be returned. So like this. So here the result was wrong. So we can't be able to return value as this. So we don't want that. We want the second because it should go down. Okay. So what we're going to do plus one. That means the match will return the value as one. And we are adding one more. So it will give us the two. And then bracket close. So you can see we are getting the result as second one. And in the same way, we will be doing for the third and fourth. Okay. So let us write this in our first page for all the cells. Okay. We will remove this. We will write the first. Okay. Equal to index. Now we want our range. So we want the result from C cell, then comma, then the match to call the column and index number, and it should match this value under this range. Then we want the exact first value, and then second. We call the result. No. If you want to log this cell because we will be tracking this, right? So we don't want if you track this, see the cell range get changed. So we don't want this to get changed. So we'll be locking the cell with okay, adding the dollar sign. You can use a four as well to add this sign. Okay, so we have locked this thing. Our lookup value is this. So we'll be locking this as well because we don't want this to drag down to other. So we'll be and the range again. The range will be locking the range cell as well. And then okay and now when you try to turn you can see you can see the result now everywhere you are getting the result as a same because our match value is returning the number as one and with the one it is giving us this same result so we have to change it to two three and four so what will be going get this is one so plus one will give us two and your plus two will give us three and lastly plus three will give us this result so you can see we call this result and now when you change it or is it getting changed now same way we'll be doing it for quantity and burn so for the quantity again, we'll be writing in that. Now this time, we'll not take the range as product one because we don't want the result from this range. We want the result from this range, right? So we'll be selecting this. Okay. So again, you can use shortcut C as well, or you can add the dollar manually to lock the cell. Then. For calling out the column number and the row number, we'll be writing match formula and we want to look up value as this. We want to search A3, then A3 under this range. So 
everything remains the same. The range is uh, index range is getting changed, and then again we'll be adding zero because we want the exact match. And one bracket has been missed, so it has automatically added. So if you drag this down, the number will be changed. So you know we just have to add the one. and then wait so now when you change this it's getting changed with red okay so nothing that's changed we have just changed the range of the index because we just because the range will be selected from where you want the result and the same way you can do it for one so if you want, you can copy this and paste the over here. And from these, you can change it to C. And then change this to E. Because it was on the B. So we have just changed this to E and drag it down. And again, for the first one, it will be same. Second plus one, plus two, then plus five. There you go. And from here, you can see your data is being tracked from the mode cell and giving you the result, a multiple result from the main state. It is taking the result from the mode cell and giving a multiple result to the reflected state. So in this way, you can do a lookup on the merge cell.